Welcome to Mel Bear's Weird and Wonderful. Today we'll be teaching you how to make this creepy spun cotton cat. I put out at least one new video every week, so please subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Welcome to Melbourne's Weird and Wonderful. For today's project, I recommend you go and watch my supply uh, tutorial on cotton spun ornaments first, so I didn't have to um, keep repeating myself on every video. I made a supply list, which you can watch. I will link it below. So we're going to start with making the base to our ornament. We're just going to wrap some wire. This is going to be the loop for the top so you can hang the ornament. We're going to just make a nice little loop and then you're just going to wrap it around to form a circle. And then we're just going to cut that off. Just going to loop that around itself. Pliers are helpful with this. It's going to make a nice little round loop. It does not have to be perfect. loop the top you want to look fairly nice because that's what you're gonna see this is the part you're gonna use to hang your ornament when it is completed so now you've got your little loop like that you're gonna need some tin foil I like to just peel off a couple sheets so I've got them sitting here and then you're gonna take your little base and you're gonna wrap this tin foil around your base be careful with tin foil it can be sharp and you don't want to cut yourself. Now you want to make, this is going to be the back, so we want to make it not too big, but you still want it to have some substance since it's going to be a cat. You want it to have some back to it, but the main decoration is going to be in the front. So you just want to push that into a, into a shape that is what you want your face to look like. And you can wrap this around the back as need be. You're just going to make this kind of a, just like a, a circle, I guess. And I'm just going to bunch that foil up a little bit. And then wrap it around. You want to kind of shape it to your face, what you want your face to look like. So my cat's going to have a little snout here, and then we're going to have some eyes. We need to have eye sockets, so you want to make sure you leave enough space for eye sockets. I'm going to grab a little more tin foil. And wrap that around here. And get more of a shape of what we're looking for. Here. 
Okay, and there you go. All done. Now I'm gonna make some little ears as well out of wire. So just take your wire, make it into an ear shape. Let's cut it off with your snips. Do this twice. Try to make them the same, approximately. Otherwise your ears will be different sizes. And now you're gonna cover these teeth as well. And then just repeat with the other ear. Okay, once you've got your base into the shape you want, which I think this will work for what I'm doing, we're going to cover it in masking tape. And this doesn't have to be super neat or tidy because you are going to cover this layer as well. So pretty much you're layering this over and over and over again. And you're just going to keep uh, taping this around. Best if you can keep it from not keep your masking tape from not ripping um, fresh masking tape honestly works better I've had this sitting in my studio for a little while and just keep following it all around until all of your um, tin foil is covered okay now we've got two cat ears and we're gonna worry about these later for this project, it's also nice to have a, um, a mold, a resin mold for uh, the nose. You don't have to have this, you can just paint them, but I love these little resin noses. Um, if you want, I can show you guys how to make these. You pretty much just need a mold and you mix up the resin, but if you do want a tutorial on making these, please leave a comment below and I will make one for you guys. Next, you need to make your glue and water mixture. I'm just using some of this tacky glue. I'm out of Elmer's glue and I did not have a chance to go to the store to get any. But this will work just fine. I put a little bit of glue in there. And then I just add some water and mix it up. You want it to be fairly liquidy, but still enough that it's gluey. I'm just going to mix it up with a paintbrush. Okay, now comes the fun part. We are going to cover our figure with the cotton. So what you're going to do is, I like to put a little layer of glue where I'm working. And then I just off some of the cotton and just keep sticking it on as I go.
And it's good to have some paper towel handy in case you're making drips. Please stay tuned for part two of this part three video. Thanks for watching.